great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Indiana Hoosiers. The small forward position is going to be one to watch. We've got a great matchup tonight. Number 23 makes a strong case for being one of the better shooters in the entire country. His counterpart tonight is a guy that likes to lead by example for his team. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. The Hoosiers should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Second of all, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Thirdly, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. For the bucket. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft is bounded, fading away, impossible to block. But I think right now, I'm going to focus defensively. They go into the low block, and now the fadeaway jumper, and in and out. The power forward receives the pass. Welch, pump fakes. He bombs from outside. It's good. Trying to feed the low block. There's the fake. Up fake. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Gave it up. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He hits the shot. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. He up fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. He's going nowhere. Ball going nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Gave it up. He puts up the three ball. He nails the shot. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them some. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. On the inside, there's a double team waiting there. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The Hoosiers go to the line for the first time in this game. Left him a nylon, NBN. Throws can wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Down inside, the center handles the pass. And we've got a whistle and a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the line for the first time. Concentration, got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. He makes the second. Oh. 
in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Now trying to feed the low block. Boy, terrible execution on offense. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Can't get the shot to go. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Looking to move it around the perimeter. There's the pick. There's the trap. He throws it up from downtown. Goes in. He keeps his dribble as they reset. They work the perimeter. He takes it away. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Martin receives the ball with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. That has some folks out of their seats. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The center in the paint. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought that was definitely an offensive charge. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Lawson handles the feed, makes it. He's going to see this guy in his sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Picks off the lazy pass. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. Gant steps to the line for the first time. Gets his first. And he got them both. He's open if he wants the shot. Looking for a screen on top and got it. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. For the bucket. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up-and-under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up-and-under move to utilize good footwork. off gave it up on the dribble gives it up nice move with a face up I tell you one thing Brad I like guys that are versatile in that post facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious shrug with their shooting, Brad.
The student body appears to be pumped up and they are ready to explode. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Looking for a good shot. And a momentary look from three-point land on the outside. From the top of the key, way off target. Top of the circle, got it. Poor job, poor job offensively. I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. It's time for the ball, but in fact, where's he going? See who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. The skip pass is picked off. Look at that spacing. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? He's money with the shot. They scored 13 in a row. There's a bad pass right to the defender with a long bomb. Here's a flash from the post up high. Tries for two. It's early here, but it's been a blowout so far, Dick. It's definitely heading in that direction, Brad. Haywood's mediocre play has really gotten to him. Someone may have to talk to him. He needs to get back on track. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Gave it up. Pushes it up. Jumps into the defender. The land. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, the coaching staff has expected it to be evenly matched up across the board all night long. But you wonder, who's going to be the first one to throw the punch? Thanks, Aaron. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. High post flashes. Got a wide open look. He makes a nice shot fake. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball, a good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Great play to take that to the basket. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play. you got a chance to really to win. 
Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Haywood's inferior play is really affecting his composure now. He needs to take a deep breath, refocus, and get after it. Double team now, bad angle. Tries to get the D to bite. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Wide open for the shot. Tickles a twine. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Ten on the shot clock. Takes the shot. He gets the bucket. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Isn't it great, Brad? That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. And if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Side. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Check this one out. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Fakes the shot. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Pump fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They keep forcing them to set up in the half court. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Side. Fakes the jumper. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Perfectly executed. For two, can't get the shot to drop. The Hoosiers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's the replay. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And a momentary look from three-point land. They let him get into a rhythm.
Gant is animated and ready to go. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Jumped in front to take it away with a quarterback pass for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Now the kick out. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Had a guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball. Pull-up jumper from way out. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. Oh yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Gave it up, controlling the ball. Tries for two, perfectly executed. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like I am. For two, in and out. Strips the ball. up for two and off the mark they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass oh mr nestler there's no need for that extracurricular stop i agree but that was a great play now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of it How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. On the outside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Has a nice look at the basket. Shoots from outside. He drains it. The turn, a fadeaway jumper. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Drops the bucket despite the harm. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Tries for two. He gets the shot to fall. Time to pick up the defense here now. Good job defensively. They're off into transition. Gave it up. Lawson in the post. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot clock is dead. 
I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. It's crazy in here, Brad. For two, he sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. At the end of the first half, the Hoosiers are ahead by 31. Dick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? There was some nice inside play in the first half. We'll have to see which team continues to pound the ball inside in the second half. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how this second half plays out. Indiana really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Dick, we're heading into the second half in our player matchup. It's going about the way we thought it would. I tell you, there's no doubt their PT peers, their primetime performers, they like the big moment and they make big plays. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. The ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. He tries a jump hook. Off the rim and no good. Now they work it around the perimeter. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And the ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it off. <laughs> the Ziggy. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. He's got a high post flasher. Picked out of the air. Working it around the perimeter. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You got to get the ball when the guy is open. That's a special arm, feet in the post. Hobbs pounded on his way up. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Gets the first shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBA. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Takes it off him. They run it up into transition. <laughs> Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Goes up for two. Nice shot. They're working around the arc. 
jumps in. He kept his dribble and used the screen to get the nice look from inside. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble attack here and turns it over. Poor judgment results in a backcourt violation. You got to take care of the rock, baby. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Picks off the pass. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chip. Basket's good, and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when they needed him, baby. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Look at that spacing. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. It's electrifying in here. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. He shoots from the top of the circle. Oh, yes. For the bucket, perfectly executed. The Hoosiers lead by 35. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of play. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. For two, and he missed. Looking for contact. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. They've left him completely alone. That was nice. I want to see that again. This guy hook, you cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? 
Yick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. At the free throw line. Opportunity. He sinks it. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Takes away the pass. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. You can see on the replay how this one goes down. They work it around the perimeter. From three point range. Sinks it. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. He pulls the trigger. The Hoosiers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. <laughs> Tries for two. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. There they come with a double team to stop it. Steal. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. You betcha. The Nittany Lions are down by 40. Three. It's good. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from long range. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The student body is rocking tonight. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. The ball goes out of bounds. The Hoosiers have a lot of history. Hey, success has been key in building this tradition. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, the player matchup has been our focus tonight, and he's been effective because his teammates are finding him in the right spot, and he's knocking down all his shots, guys. Thanks, Aaron. The 
Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Gave it up. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. High post flasher is open. For two, perfectly executed. Top of the circle. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say, I'm a little surprised at how this one's turning out. I definitely didn't expect this. Working around the perimeter. Now the high screen. He fires away. Drains the shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Great shot. The Hoosiers are up by 42. In the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. The Nittany Lions are down by 44. Up and inside! That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. They'll work it around the arc. On the inside. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from left of the circle. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. off the lazy pass. The shooting guard gets the ball. He strips him clean. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. Stolen away. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. He's been making some great plays, but taunting. This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the foul shot. Gets two at the charity strike. 
that's a 7 nothing run. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. On the inside. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the dribble, gives it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Goes. This is simply a great play, Brad. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Gave it up. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. In the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. And again, they look to run. And this one's going to be a backcourt violation. Got to make good decisions with the ball, Brad. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. He attempts the trifecta. Nice shot. Let's see the replay. Looking for a good shot. On the outside. Here's the three ball. He nails the bucket. Post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the outside, 10 seconds to get it off. Makes it. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Replay is queued up. Let's watch it again. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Dumps it in. Nick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He gets it to go.
There's the trap. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. High post player flashing. He fires it up. Off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple grip. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of play. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a count the land. Gives it up, tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. the perimeter they work it around the perimeter goes up for two he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score on the outside they work it around the perimeter got the high pick defense giving some room Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Dick, you know, it's always great to look back and see how the marquee matchup is played out. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, that's great to watch individually. But remember, this is a team game, so it's really how the team responds as a unit. Indiana wins by a huge margin. With the difference in these two teams' rankings, the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews,